pin a butterfly or any other insect for which the wings should be displayed flat, you will need a spreading board, some straight non-insect pins, and some transparent waxy paper cut into strips. Pin the strips at the end of the spreading board on either side of the gap. Cut strips of foam the same thickness as the gap in the spreading board and insert the foam into the spreading board. This can be done before or after the insect is pinned. Hold the insect gently with the wings folded. Try not to touch the wings in order to prevent damaging them. Use a number two or a number three insect pin and pin the butterfly through the middle of the thorax so that the pin emerges between the legs. The body of the butterfly should be one centimeter from the top of the pin. Pin the butterfly in the gap of the spreading board so that the head and abdomen are supported by the foam. Use a sharp pointed instrument to position the legs, antennae, and abdomen. Make sure the antennae are on top of the paper strips. Insert the point of the stick into a thick vein and carefully move the forewing into its spread position using the paper strips as leverage. Pull the strip tight so that the wings cannot move and pin the strip in place. Repeat for the other pair of wings. You can use a ruler or a stick to measure the symmetry of the wings. Cut two squares of transparent paper which are slightly larger than the wings. Pin the paper on top of the wings with straight pins so that the wings do not curl. Never put pins through the wings themselves. This is how it should look. Use straight pins to set the antenna and readjust the head. Tuck the legs in and secure the abdomen in its final position. Leave for two weeks until it is dry. Take care when you remove the paper strips so that the wings, legs, and antennae do not break. Thank you for watching our video on how to pin butterflies.